What's up, y'all? It's your man, Alex. And for this video, I thought that I would give you 50 random facts about myself. I thought that it would be a kind of a cool video to do. Maybe some of you guys out there that watch my videos would be interested in hearing some silly facts about myself. So, uh, without spending too much time on an introduction, here we go. The majority of people out there that know me know me by Alex, but there's a select few people who actually call me Al. You guys know that game, The Dozens? Well, uh, me and my friends, we always called it Capping. You know, the game where you and another person go back and forth at each other, trying to insult each other and make fun of each other. I love playing that game. I don't know, it's just something fun about insulting another person. You know, not to hurt their feelings or anything, but... You know, just to say these off-the-wall, wacky things about somebody else and hearing what they can come up with to say about you in return. I don't know. That game was always fun to me. You so skinny, you look like you can stick your arm in my mouth and floss my teeth. Your mama's so ugly that the only way she can wake up in the morning is if she hear the word, Kanda. Your arm is made out of cardboard, but you got a real hand attached to it. Your mama got five arms and only three of them work. Your mama's so dumb she thought that a werewolf was a GPS tracking device for animals. Australia is the only place outside of the U.S. that I've ever wanted to travel to. I don't care about nowhere else. I don't care about uh, Japan. I don't care about France. I don't care about Antarctica, Canada. I don't care about Mexico. I've just wanted to travel to Australia for some reason. I don't know, maybe because when you see it in movies and you see it on National Geographic or whatever, I don't know, it's just a place that seems real appealing to me. And plus, I like the, I like the, the accent. I was born and raised in Iowa. I hate when the food on my plate touches. I can't stand that. You know, I hate when my mashed potatoes touch my chicken and my chicken is touching my corn and my corn is touching my spinach. I don't like when my food mixes on my plate. And I've been in debates with people talking about it all goes to the same place, but it all goes across the tongue first. And I want my mashed potatoes to taste like mashed potatoes. And I want my spinach to taste like spinach. And I don't want to taste chicken to taste corny. I have pages and pages and pages of things that I have written, whether it be a story or poetry or a rap song or just some crazy thought that I had in my head. I just like putting things down on paper, just ideas and random things. I love listening to video game music. I don't know, it's just something about video game music, especially older, like NES and Sega Genesis games. Listening to that music, you know, it's nostalgic. It makes me think about being a kid again, and it just, it feels good listening to that stuff. When I was a young kid, I had a reputation amongst all the other kids when we played football. I had a rep for always being that dude that caught the football. I could be in a large crowd of people, just throw the football up and I would catch it. You know, I was taller than everybody and I had great hands. So, I don't know, it, it just, it was always fun to catch the football to me and I was that dude that always caught the ball no matter where you put it. I love going to Renaissance fairs. I mean, they got a lot of cool stuff that you can buy, from, you know, swords and jewelry and, you know, movie props sometimes like movie swords from movies and stuff like that and knives um they got good food i really enjoy going to renaissance fairs and i've been there quite a few times with family members i ain't ashamed of it i like going to renaissance fairs you ain't gotta be white and nerdy to go to them you guys know the serial killer john wayne gacy guy killed tons of people used to dress up like a clown and stuff like that well anyway I grew up in a house that was basically down the street from the Kentucky Fried Chicken that he used to manage. And for this video, I took a special trip back to the old neighborhood just to show you guys. 
this is the street that I used to live on and it looks so different it looks so raggedy so small that house right there that white house used to be the house that I lived in when I was younger and through the uh, advances in technology we can speed this up This little white place here on the corner, I don't know what it is now because I haven't been over here forever. This place used to be a Kentucky Fried Chicken. And the manager of this Kentucky Fried Chicken was the serial killer, John Wayne Gacy. I think the coolest superpower, if I had my choice of a superpower, would be telekinesis. I think telekinesis is awesome to be able to move things with your mind. You could just do all kinds of stuff with that. And if I had my choice of superpowers, it would be telekinesis. You see this guy right here? Iron Man is the best. Yes. Woo! I've been best friends with this dude for over 20 years. I don't like to kill bugs. You know, if there's a bug in the house crawling around and I see it, I usually just grab it, take it outside. You know, it drives my wife crazy because why don't you just smash it? I don't know. I'll just, I don't know. I mean, I'm not one of those type of people that's, you know, save the earth and preaching all this and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Maybe because I think bugs and animal life and stuff like that is cool. I think electricity is fun to look at. I'm a very artistic person. Uh, I can draw. I can do like arts and crafts type stuff. Here's a helmet that I made. I based this on Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's made out of cardboard and plaster and duct tape and all kinds of other crap. Uh, but all of this stuff is built around a goalie mask, a hockey goalie mask. Here's two pictures that I drew with oil pastels. You got Return of the Living Dead poster and the Fog poster. And these aren't the greatest in the world, but I'm pretty proud of them. Here's a Freddy Krueger glove that I made out of some old dusty glove that I found in my van. And I bought some knives at Dollar Tree and, you know, took the blades off. And I just bought, you know, some metal, pieces of metal at Home Depot chopped them out with 10 snips and cut out the shapes and wound up coming out with this and I think it turned out pretty good. Back in junior high and high school people used to call me Humpty because you know I got a big nose and I was skinny and there was a song out called the Humpty Dance by Digital Underground and everybody and, you know, said that I looked like that dude, looked like Humpty Hump, because, you know, I had a big nose and I had glasses, and it was just a name that stuck with me through junior high and high school. It kind of got annoying sometimes. Oh, you look like Humpty, you look like Humpty. It's like, I know, I've been hearing about this for years. But, uh, yeah, Humpty Hump is what they used to call me back in junior high and high school. Do the Humpty Hump. I do the Humpty Hump. <laughs> I have 12 tattoos. Out of all the pets that I've ever owned, my favorite was a rat that I had named Ripley. And I love this little thing. I mean, I used to let her out and she used to run around the room. You know, I used to carry her on my shoulder and stuff like that. Really intelligent, really loving. And a lot of people may look at that as, oh, you had a rat as a pet? That's disgusting. But, you know, rats make way better pets than most animals out there. Lucky Charms is my favorite cereal. The first celebrity crush that I ever had was on Paula Abdul. I just thought Paula Abdul was beautiful and I liked watching her videos with her dancing around and especially the video that she had opposites attract. You know, she's dancing around with the cartoon cat. I just really liked Paula Abdul when I was young. And uh, she was the very first celebrity crush that I ever had. There was this one time 
when I witnessed a guy get punched so hard that he flew over a TV. My favorite color is purple. When I go to Subway, I always order a foot long spicy Italian on Italian herbs and cheese with lettuce, banana peppers, jalapenos, Chipotle Southwest, and oil, and American cheese. And sometimes I'll get two chocolate chip cookies. I didn't start driving a vehicle until I was 28 years old. I used to be in a hip hop group that had two other dudes and my sister. We went to all kinds of different places. We performed on public access channel. We performed here, we performed there, we performed in the park. And it was pretty fun. And I even did some of my own solo stuff. You know, I went out by myself and did a few things. It was pretty cool. I've been a Minnesota Vikings fan my entire life. I've been a Chicago Bulls fan ever since I discovered basketball. Chinese food is my favorite type of food. It's just delicious to me. Sweet and sour chicken is just wonderful. And, you know, wontons and crab ragoon and all that stuff is just wonderful to me. The very first concert that I ever went to was a Kiss concert. And it was crazy, man. I mean, you had fireworks and all kinds of stuff and Gene Simmons was spitting blood out and his tongue was wagging everywhere. It was awesome. I wear size 15 shoe. I love hot sauce. I put it on almost everything that I eat. I love 90s rap and R&B music. I had to say from about 90 to 97, that's probably my favorite time period in that type of music. My top five favorite rap albums from the 90s are Method Man and Red Man's Blackout, Big Pun's Capital Punishment, Outcast's Equimini, Red Man's Muddy Waters, and Wu-Tang's Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chamber. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I'm six foot three inches tall. I usually won't talk to people unless they talk to me first. You know, I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of person to just go up to people. And, hey, how you doing? And this and that, and this and that. You know, that's just not me. You know, I just kind of sit there and just chill. And I'm in my own little quiet space. And, you know, I won't say anything. But when somebody comes and approaches me and starts talking, I'll talk back with them. But I'm just not that type of person to just go out and, you know, talk to people just to be talking to people. I love 80s music, man. I love 80s pop. I love 80s metal. I love 80s rock. I love 80s rap. I love 80s music, especially 80s pop music. I don't know. It's, it's nostalgic, you know, and when I listen to it, it just makes me feel good because it makes me think about when I was a kid, and I'll be driving in my van. I'll be just like Corky Romano singing, Aha, Take On Me. I think goth girls are very attractive, uh, you know, with the black lipstick and the black heavy eye shadow and piercings in the eyebrow and then the lip and, you know, tattoos and the dark clothes and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just, it's very alluring to me. I love stale popcorn, especially when it's movie theater popcorn. You know, go to the movies and, and refill your bag and bring it home and let it sit for like a couple days come back to it it's delicious i just i love stale popcorn i am the proud son of an author uh, my mother just published her first book not too long ago called daughters of twilight uh that's actually my sister right there good job mom i'm proud of you i love you keep coming out with sequels keep making other books and then eventually they'll turn into movies And the most played song on my iPod is Def Leppard's Photograph. I've never passed the original Super Mario Brothers game on Nintendo. Just never passed it. And then I've never really cared that much about it to pass it. I mean, it was fun when it came out, but it just wasn't that type of game 
did. I had I gotta pass this. I gotta pass it. When other games came out, when when I got a hold of other games, Mario Brothers just became this distant memory. So I've I've never passed it. I like the freestyle rap, even though I'm not really that good at it. I chop you down like Jason Voorhees. Make you get down on your knees and say, please spare me. I don't want you to hit me with a machete. My ear is pierced, but I don't never wear an earring ever. I share the same birthday with DJ Jazzy Jeff. I used to own seven pet snakes at one time. I enjoy when my dog licks my feet. Some people may think that's kind of nasty, but man, it just it just feels so good, man. When I was a little kid, I used to have this toy U-Haul uh, truck, and the back the back of it used to open. It used to have two little doors that opened up. And they were kind of hard to open. So one day I was trying to open it and I used my teeth and my two front teeth went poom, flew out of my mouth. I spend a lot of time in my head. I like to think a lot. I like to dream a lot. I like to fantasize. I daydream a lot. You know, I, I just, I, I'm the type of person that's always living inside of my head. My dad is white and my mom is black and they got together and they made me and I enjoy what I am, I enjoy who I am and I'm glad that I'm all mixed up like that and uh, just to add another fact, to expand on that, pretty much my whole family, there's a lot of interracial mixing in my family, I mean uh, my dad's mom uh, my dad's mom married a black man, uh, my sister, uh, married a guy who is half Mexican, half Caucasian, uh, my aunt, you know, my dad's sister married a black man and had kids, you know, we're, we're all mixed up, we're a family of mixed up people, and that's pretty cool, and I like that. Well, y'all, that was 50 random facts, or I should say 51 random facts about me. Um, thanks for watching. If you watched, you know, if you were interested in seeing the video and if you even stuck through or even cared about, you know, hearing things about me, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Can you say an 80s slasher? <laughs>